Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of American Society of Safety Professional Chapter UAE, I welcome you all for Head of Studies. First of all, I would like to thank the organizer for inviting us for this wonderful occasion, this wonderful event since yesterday I am observing it. It's a big challenge for me to, to explain to you as of in 15 minutes, but I'll try to wrap up fast and see that maximum I can cover. So what we're going to discuss today is the hazard fundamentals, hazard features, and what is exactly the hazard in short. So before understanding the hazard, so just consider one scenario. See, you and your family are on the road trip by using a car in the middle of the night. You were re replying to the WhatsApp message, test message while driving at the speed of 100 kilometers per hour. And it was heavily raining. The car hits a deep hole and one, one of your tire blows. You hit the brake, but due to the slippery road, due to rain, your car tire thread was thin and the car skidded and was thrown off the road. So this is just a scenario. What will happen? So as a thinker, what you will think? What is the cause of this accident? What is the consequences of this accident? And what can we do to prevent all those things to happen in the first place? If you do the brainstorming for this for the five minutes, we'll come out with the solution. Yes, we can prevent this. So what other possible accidents might happen on the road trip? And can we be prepared before the accident occurs? The answer is yes. Because if you do the hazard study before any accident happen, or before any evidence, you will get the correct results, and you can avoid the accident if you follow the hazard study. So just for the scenario, just I will explain to you in just one incidence, the, can we make it more systematic for this hazard study? So considering the same scenario, if, if you can uh, divide into the format of the, the parameters, the uh, parameters are the incidences, the processes, activities. So just take the parameter as the car speed. In the hazard study, you have to use the guide words. The, you have to use the possible causes of the hazards, the consequences of the hazards, the action what you're going to take, and in order to avoid this, what safeguard system you'll put. So you consider the scenario, what we seen for the road trip. You can see the car speed. So guide word for this is either your car is too far, or too fast, or you're too slow. Only then the accident will happen, as, as per speed is concerned. So you, the possible cause, because you're rushing, the consequences are discreted uh, when emergency brake you put. Action, if you have slow down, accident will not happen. And the safeguard system, what you should would have used, you, are, you should have used the ABS brake system, you should have used the safety be belt, airbag, so that the fatality can be taken care of. So like this scenario, if you put in the hazard study, you can avoid the accidents. So what is hazard? Hazard is a systematic technique to identify potential hazards and operating problems. It is a formal systematic rigorous examination to the process and engineering facility for a production facility. Basically, hazard studies is based on the guide words, and it is a qualitative study, and it is basically for the safety, and safety is the main concern, hazards are the main concern, and operating problem you have to consider while doing the hazard study. So originally of hazard in 1960, Dr. H.G. Lawley, uh, he was working for the ICI, Imperial Chemical Industries, in 1960. He developed uh, the first hazard study, and subsequently it is followed by the C.J. Bullock. And 1977, the Chemical Industry Association published the first edi edited version of the hazard. And the latter development done by the, by the ICI, and they followed the six steps while doing the hazard studies. So the step number one while doing the hazard study is the project, doing the project exploration and the preliminary project assessment to identify the in inherent hazard of process chemicals, the site suitability, and probable 
environmental impacts. Step two is for the during the project definition itself to identify the and reduce the significant hazard associated with them and areas and conformity with the relevant standard you have to check and you have to use the checklist to do this study. Step three in the design and procurement stage. Step four during the final stage of the construction. Step five during the plant commissioning and last stage during the normal operation sometime after the startup, especially if any modification is there in, in, in the de uh, plant design. So that time you can Im implement the hazard study and take into consideration all the, uh, the parameters. So these procedures are adopted fully and partly by many companies around the world. And if you do the hazard study prior to the, uh, the operation of the plant, or before the designing stage. So designing stage is very important for every process industries. So if you follow the hazard patterns and are doing the study systematically, you can avoid the accident. There are basic concepts. The, the, uh, the main concept is system work well when operating under the design uh, conditions. So design conditions are very, very important for any hazard studies. And, and the, it is based on the model, the word model, the process flow sheet, PFD or PID. We can discuss about the PID. PID is the piping and uh, in, uh, instrumentation diagram. And generally the method followed for the has of study is the guide words. So how to use the guide words, how to use the deviation, how to use the causes and uh, consequences, you must know while doing the has of study. So these are the basic, uh, basically the guide words you have to use. These guide words are, the, are covering the every parameter relevant to the system under review, like flow rate, flow diagram, and different, different parameters. So different, generally the guide words used are the none, more of, less of, part of, more, more than others. And by using these guide words, you have to see the deviation, you have to see the causes and the consequences, and then come out with the action. So in order to do the hazard study, you must know the three factors. The first factor is uh, the study note. Study notes are the location where you are going to do the study, the location of the PID and the processes. And the intention, the intention defines how the plant is expected to operate in the absence of deviation of the study nodes. And finally, the de uh, deviation, because de there are depar departures from the intention which, are, which can be discovered by systematically applying the guide no wide words like process condition, activities, sub uh, substances, time, place, and etc. Hazard study will be performed only by the hazard team. And you should have the multidisciplinary hazard team while doing the hazard study. And the members in the hazard team are very important. And these members is not one plus one is equal to two. It is one plus one is equal to three. Means it is a cumulative decision from the, all the multidisciplinary team in the hazard team. So selection of the hazard team is one of the crucial uh, factor in the hazard study. And the hazard study, uh, when the, peop uh, the members will do, they will must focus on the parameters, the nodes, the guide words, and they must uh, consider the different, different deviations and consequences and the actions. So relevant question about the hazard study in everybody's mind, how can one be certain to identify all possible deviation means it's not 100% sure if you do the hazard study means there is no accident. Hazard study will give you only the 80% guarantee that you can control the accidents because it is depending upon the experience of your team, how they can able to understand the deviation and the process uh, non-conformities. There are different features of the hazard studies. So these are the different features. So the subsystem of the interest, the line and wall, it's all related to the plant and operation, the chemical industries, petrochemical industries, process industries. So while doing the hazard study, we must consider the mode of operation, whether it is a normal operation, whether it is the startup mode, or whether it is the shutdown mode, maintenance, construction, 
inspection mode. In case of trigger event also, we have to consider the human failure, the equipment failure, the supply failure, emergency environment, uh, environment events, and other cause of abnormal con uh, operation, including the instrument dist disturbance. Also, you, you see the effect within the plant, the changes in the chemical uh, conditions, the changes in inventory, suppose, and changes in chemical physical conditions. So various factors you need to con uh, consider while doing the hazard study. So hazard, hazardous condition, the corrective action, change of process design, if the design changed, then you must do the hazard study. So how would hazard condition detected? So it will be detected during the normal operation, upon the uh, human failure, upon component failure, in other circumstances, and you have to have the contingency action for the improve, improve isolation and the improve the protection. So for preliminary hazard study, you, you must need the process flow sheet and description of the process. And for deta detailed hazard studies, you need the PID, you need the process calculation, you need the inst instrument data sheet and interlock system and all. So this is the PID and safety. We will not go in detail. This is the PI, PID is very important. That is pipe and uh, instrumentation di diagram. And uh, while doing the hazard study, you have to use this gu guide word, the flow charts. These are the basic uh, flow charts generally followed during the hazard study. And the guide words were basically followed with, with the deviation and the consequences, action, and the possible causes. These are the basic guide words. And uh, if you can go through, you'll understand. I'll give this presentation so that you can understand in more detail. So these are the guide words. And this is the basic chart for uh, hazard study. You have to see the deviation first. You have to see the causes, consequences, and then existing provisions, and uh, finally the action, and the question, and or any other recommendation are there. You have to follow that. So hazard study are applied during the normal operation, any ch plant changes in the maintenance stage, and it is a systematic approach. And there are, there are strengths and weaknesses of the hazard study. The hazard study uh, is a systematic, reasonable, and comprehensive and flexible. HAZOP is an excellent, well-proven method for studying large plant in the specific manner. And HAZOP identify significant deviation of the plant. All major accidents should be identified, but not necessarily their causes. So these are the, the strength of the uh, HAZOP. But there are certain weaknesses in the HAZOP uh, study. So because HAZOP is very, very time-consuming, and it is a laborious job. And the guide words are not sufficient to take care of 100% deviation. So sometimes you cannot rely 100% on the, on the hazard study, but it is a, basically as a tool for avoiding the accidents in the, in the plant. So attitude of the team members in the hazard team is very important. Generally, the engineers think that the hazard study is not required. So they think that all of these are terms are the stupid table because we have to follow the rigorous uh, documentation work and uh, so many things they have to follow. So they think that why can't we put the engineering control under place? But when the accident happened, the same person will tell you that, yes, we should have done the hazard study and avoid this accident. So accident can be prevented by using the hazard study. So the team is responsible, has a team is responsible for doing the hazard study. And why before doing the hazard study, you must do the correct planning for the hazard study. So you have to define the objects, objectives and scope, and you have to select the team members. Team member selection is very important. And planning for the hazard, you must have the following information, the process flow diagram, the piping and instrumentation diagram, process calculation and uh, layout and other, other requirements. So prepare for the study, use safety procedures, uh, relief uh, venting philosophy, chemical involved, piping specification, and if you have the previous hazard report, so you have to follow, follow that. And then you have to carry the hazard study, hazard study and record the results. You, need, uh, require, uh, you may require the hazard secretary who is qualified in the process engineering support, so she can take down all the information while the people talking in the meeting. So that secretary role plays a very important role in the head of study. 
So these are the team characteristics. That there should be the members from different different uh, uh, team uh, of the plant, from the uh, from the maintenance, from the engineering side, chemical side. So it should be the multidisciplinary team because as of study result, the output will depend upon the contribution from each member from the as of team. So there are two types of uh, three types of questions. You can have open-ended question, closed question, and then you can have the mixed question. You can combine these questions and then come out with the uh, output for the Hazard study. And things to avoid, so you should not have long complicated question and a loaded question you should avoid. And the Hazard, uh, Hazard leader is the key person in the Hazard study. And his knowledge, his understanding, his management skills are very important in order to do the Hazard study. So this is the basic checklist for the Hazard leader, what he should do. And uh, if it, there is a new design, what you need to follow, so you, you, uh, who you should involve in the team, you should involve the process engineers, com uh, commissioning managers, in, uh, instrumentation design persons, the chemist. If, if there is an existing plan and you want to do the hazard study, then you have to involve the plant uh, superintendent, you have to involve the process supervisors, you have to uh, involve the maintenance engineers, instrument engineers, and technical engineers. So with this, team, if you do the, the, have the systematic approach using the correct guide to work, if you do the hazard study, you will get the correct results and you can avoid the accident. So it's my recommendation to all of you, just go through the presentation, the organizer will give it to you and just try to implement the hazard study at your, your facility, your plant and see that how you can able to avoid the accident. So thank you very much, gentlemen, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much.